Well, hello there. We are back once again with a brand new game. This time, a game that's just been released on Steam called Rescue Everyday Heroes 2. We did go around and play around with the first game of this series. It was very, very fun. Also, a very unique take on these type of rescue emergency service games. They're real-time strategies, but um, no attacking, no fighting anyone. But I guess you do fight fires, but there's no real enemies so it's definitely very unique. I do enjoy these types of games as well. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this series just as much as I will playing it. Very unique game created by a Finnish developer. So let's go ahead and have a look at the campaign. Now I'm going to resume the campaign from where I've started playing because first couple of missions are just tutorials. So I'll spare you the details. Now the first thing that I really like about this game is this is the overall map. Now, you don't actually spend too much time in over here. Um, this is not where the, most of the gameplay happens. So, that's not too bad because, I mean, you wouldn't want to be playing in graphics like this the whole time. But it is pretty nifty because it's like it's a toy set almost. You've got the wooden borders and you've got the name of the place called Belvistia. No doubt I'm butchering that. But very, very cool. And we've got our fire station over here, which we actually do have an ambulance in there as well our emergency service building and we've got a mission dispatch number three where we've got an ambulance already dispatched so all you do over here is you dispatch your vehicle so they leave your emergency service place of residence and then they go off to a mission so we've already got the ambulance dispatched so now all we have to do is start the mission and this is where the real action happens now uh, we actually don't really get to control the vehicles too much. This guy, ambulance automatically just comes in, rushing in and stops right in over here. Thank you. Now, I do like the hotkeys. They make things so much easier with a game like this. Uh, so now what we've got to do is click. I really don't like this bit because it does get confusing. I wish you were able just to disembark the vehicle and actually right click on the ambulance. It'll make things a lot easier. But what you need to do is actually click on this vehicle and then the guy picks up the first aid kit because we need to save this injured lady. We're literally going to be saving this damsel in distress. Push the gate open. Hopefully, there we go. And over we come to this building. Or well, not building, the lady. This is about as close as we can zoom in. What I do need to do also is just for anyone that's interested, these are my settings that we're playing in. Pretty much everything maxed out. Um, but what I want to do is increase the scroll speed just a little bit more. Alrighty. Actually, display heads up display. Why weren't we displaying the heads up display before? Okay, that makes it a little bit better, I'd say. So now all we've got to do is start saving this lady. So, main competitor of this game is obviously Emergency 5 or the Emergency series, and that was an abysmal fail. Now we've done that. Are we treating the lady? I think we've already treated her. Good stuff. So now we need to bring her back to the hospital but what we've got to do first off is we've got to return the tool to the vehicle and then we need to pick up some stretches or a stretcher bar now we are only one person as well so this guy magically pulls out the stretcher out of nowhere so not the most realistic but i guess gameplay wise it does make things a little bit quicker um, he's got the lady and now we all we need to do is move her back into the yes. ambulance and then we send the ambulance back and that is one of the very first earliest emissions done and dusted now these cars are amassing as well they are real cars and all, all right lady is in now all we've got to do is come back in ourselves and then we'll be able to get to the um, where are we? Tra transport to hospital, that's what we want. Alrighty. So it does get a little bit confusing with the amount of clicks that you need to do. I also don't really like the way that you um, need to actually click this ambulance to get to the tools of it. But I guess this game is still... Um, it's only just been released the last day or two, so a couple of uh, patches and all, I guess, it would be coming in. Let's have a look at what we've got over here. We've got the mission completed. They've given us a couple of uh, rundown of a couple of other things that we can do. There's quite a different amount of fires that there are in this game, which is quite realistic. You've got electrical fires and 
burning liquids as well where you need to use special foam and also our guy levels up Frank Zhao shows us our overall score all right now one of the cool things as well is that you get these little briefings so a kid's drawing of you you receive a letter with a drawing of firefighters saving a person with a lot of hearts the attached note thanks you for saving their loved ones one of the firefighters has framed it although that last mission that we did was an ambulance mission but the well wishes are very kind so now we've got in a tutorial mission installing a divider to use to attack hoses with a single fire engine using fuse boxes to cut off power supply to electrical fires all right it seems like it's going to be quite intense this one something different all right so that blue must be a damn electrical fire very intense stuff so we'll click over here pick up a divider all right so this is all very new to me then we've got to connect the tool to we've got to connect it to the actual fire truck we can't connect it to the hose now this is just the um training area so as you can see we've got one of those towers that firefighters train on and lots of different obstacle courses very cool indeed so select the firefighter carrying the divider click on the setup button and now it's got to set up the divider just close relatively close to the fire so we can get there close to it all right so he's done that and now equip attack hose Pick up attack hose with nozzle. Okay, they're both the same. Get this guy to do the same as well. All right, and now I just see we've connected over here, and this guy does the same thing. I'm not going to read too much of this because it should be rather intuitive a game like this. So let's hope that we are going to do the best that we can, and these guys should start fighting the fire automatically. Use the fuse box to turn off the electricity. All right, that's an idea. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, what if we go try this with the hose on? Is he going to be able to multitask? Oh, he is. Very nice. All right, so I guess we just get to work on the fires. Un unsuitable extinguishants. I'm not quite sure if extinguishants a word, but it'll do for the, what we're doing at the moment. Um, now I guess we're going to need like a specialist um, Obviously we're gonna right, so I figured out what we need to do we actually need to get that guy He didn't turn it off properly So now what we need to do is get him to use the electrical switch and this blue fire will turn into a red one And we are good to go and start fighting this fire now Hopefully we'll have enough water to go ahead and quell all of this hopefully we should be good though that they wouldn't give us too little um, water to fight these flames here we go that's one fire out now hopefully uh, it's gonna be much easier to fight each one off because there's less heat around the actual fires generated because we've already gotten rid of one the second one's just about gone here we go the third one's gone as well beautiful one minute 40 that was actually really quick um, we did fail that first time because I ran out of water, but you guys didn't see that because of the power of editing So the ambulance just came back. It was taking its sweet time now We've got no missions at the moment. So what we need to do is increase the time Here we go. Fire and casualties have been reported geez, that's very intense. We've got firefighters are unhappy at one of the stations after duty parties you overhear some firefighters complaining about the station's current situation and how dispatches are being handled first you feel you should confront them but then you realize that maybe something could be done to improve efficiency now i haven't gotten as far in the game if um we are able to like level all of these guys up jesus guy guy's name called beard um this video lets you manage your station stuff okay so it seems like we've got pretty much definitely does have a beard though doesn't he um, like we are able to upgrade everything like we were in the previous game, which I think is really cool I love that aspect of the game uh, We were slowly able to level everyone up level up these rooms as well There's like the map over there as well um, But we'll, oh, we actually are able to level up Feng Zhao Knight Let's go check out what we're able to do. So we can assign him different talents and he is 
Well, he's obviously a paramedic. So, first responder, responder training gives us 10 plus setup speed or 10 plus carry speed. We'll go with the carry speed. All right, so he's an emergency medical technician. Well, that's going to be it for the first episode. Unfortunately, I do need to keep these under 15 minutes because of YouTube, but a couple of more days and we should be good to go ahead and upload longer videos. But until then, I'll see you guys another time. I'm very much looking forward to playing this game a lot more, exploring what we can do. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying as well, and there'll be a link down below for the Steam section of things if you're that way inclined but until next time i'll see you guys later